Hey guys, I'm June from 3Q Bros, <clears throat> and today I have this Moyu Huanying in gold body from HK Outdoor, and I'm going to assemble it and also do a first impressions video. So it also came with this nice box, and there's well, another extra pair of stickers along with the original stickers I have to put on it. So first off, <clears throat> let's actually look at the pieces before I actually assemble this cube. Alright, so this is just standard core and sp springs and screws, nothing different. As for the pieces, <clears throat> you can see the corners are actually very different from anything you have probably ever seen. Unlike the Dian series, these corners are just in two pieces, I believe. Wait. Wait, I don't actually know. Oh, there we are, the corner caps, that's what they- oh, 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 So what they have actually done is created a corner cap here. And they've had- and they have these corners, and what they do is- oh. So that's a different approach. And... Wait, let me just assemble one at least. Alright, so that, that's interesting. So that's what a completed corner looks like. Anyways, <clears throat> let's go for the edge pieces. Um, these actually come with torpedoes, or what it, what it appears to be what appears to be torpedoes. And let's just try and assemble an edge piece with these torpedoes. We just put that there. We need another edge piece. Okay, so this cube actually does come with torpedoes. That's pretty cool. So those were what the pieces look like, corner and edge. I wonder how they fit together, probably like this. And let's look at the center pieces. <clears throat> uh, they're just standard center pieces, and then center caps, standard center caps. So there's nothing that different in the center pieces, but the corners and edges are quite interesting, especially the corners. <clears throat> So I will c assemble this whole cube and then give my first impressions. Alright, hey guys, I'm back and I've assembled the whole cube. And as you can see, it's completely gold and that's pretty cool. And I didn't stick it yet because it's pretty cool as it's gold. So I actually like this a lot. It can already co cut 45 and I haven't even uh, lubed it at all. So just look at that. That's uh, pretty good, but I should probably end up stickering it, so I'm gonna sticker it and then come back once again. Hey guys, I'm back, and and this is what the cube looks like now, and it's actually really awesome. Uh, it's better in uh, real life. Be obviously, a camera can't get everything that it actually looks like, but the color contrast between the stickers and the gold body is just amazing right and they are neon colors too so they look nice on a normal cube or they probably would like these are the stickers like these obviously look like neon stickers they have the neon feel so I actually really like this cube like if I could I want to take this cube but it's actually for a friend so I can't do that but it's actually amazing but other than like looking cool uh, the performance of the cube is actually pretty good too uh, this is not even broken in or lubed, yet it still uh, moves pretty quickly. Uh, it does seem to lock up every once in a while, but it has not yet popped on me. When it's about to pop, it actually just locks up. Uh, so that's pretty good. It's at a relatively loose tension as well, so that's probably why it locks up a lot. Uh, corner cutting, as I mentioned before, 45 degrees. Let's try reverse corner cutting. Uh, oh wait, 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 maybe. Oh, that's actually that's pretty good. Reverse corner cutting. Yeah, that that's pretty good. So I'd say half a QB. Um, turning is really rough. You can hear that grinding feel. That's but that's probably because it's not broken in. But after this is broken in, I believe this cube will be great. Um, what else to say? Is there to say about this? 
The plastic quality is pretty good, except um, when this cube came, I actually found a broken corner piece. And what's funny is that there was no corner, there was no extra corner um, cap. But they have like, they, so they just sent me enough corner pieces and enough corner caps to make the cube. And then they just sent me an extra broken corner piece without the cap. So I don't know what happened there, but at least I do have the cube. That, that's what matters. I don't know, but I'm okay with that because I need the cube, not extra broken pieces. Let's just take three pieces out real quick. See if I can do this. Okay, no, I have to do it one by one. Alright. So how the pieces work. When it's assembling this, I was, it was not working at all. And I was like, what, what's happening? But it actually turns out that the corner pieces have a specific way that they have to go into the cube. Or else they will not go in. So this is similar to the Dian Zanchi or Guang V2. Um model uh like mechanism except the pieces are differently shaped instead of the three corner stock corner piece it is just a corner piece and a corner cap and there's a larger stock here and then they just took on to this uh torpedo and the edge piece um i don't know what you'd call this but that's actually pretty large too so that's how the pieces connect uh the center cap or centerpiece does not do much for anti pop for in the anti popping popping anti popping mechanism. So there's nothing to talk about there. Assembly is relatively hard, actually. Like I just put a piece back in and it's messed up already. So. Well, now it's working for some reason. So that the mechanism is confusing, but uh, it's a good mechanism. If you can't dis dis disassemble it, that means it's, that it won't pop that well. Well, I can disassemble it, but you know what I mean, probably. The point is that it doesn't pop a lot. And it's at a really loose tension. So, first impressions on this cube, very good. A uh, bit rough and loud. Won't pop, but it'll lock up a lot. And also, above all, looks really cool. Like, because it's a gold cube. Who doesn't want a gold cube? So those are my basic first impressions on this cube. I definitely recommend this to speed cubers and cube collectors alike. For cube collectors because it's cool, and for speed cubers because it is a pretty good speed cube. But thanks for watching. I'm Jim from the Cube Bros, and that was the assembly. I didn't really show you the assembly, but first impressions of the Moyu Huanying Gold Body Cube. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and bye.